The Supreme Court on Monday asked tough questions to Tamil Nadu and Kerala governors during the hearing on state government's plea against delays in clearing bills. The Supreme Court granted the union government and the Kerala governor a four-day deadline to respond to a petition by the Pinrai Vijayan government. The petition accuses the governor of intentionally delaying assent to eight bills passed by the assembly. A bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justice J.B. Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra entertained the petition. They instructed the governor's office and the union government to submit their responses by Friday when the case will be further examined. Similar allegations against their respective governors have been raised by the governments of Punjab and Tamil Nadu who have also approached the Supreme Court. Representing the Kerala government, senior advocate K.K. Venugopal informed the court that three of the eight bills were initially promulgated as ordinances by the governor. However, after being converted into bills and passed by the assembly, the governor has been inactive in giving assent for the past three years. Upon closer inspection, the court discovered that these eight bills have been awaiting the governor's assent for periods ranging from 7 to 23 months. Notably, the Kerala government has challenged a high court order that disposed of its 2022 petition seeking a declaration that the governor's inaction on pending bills was arbitrary and unconstitutional. The Kerala High Court had stated under parliamentary democracy, when the governor is left with discretion under Article 200 of the Constitution, it may not be appropriate for the courts to issue any direction to the governor of the state to exercise the discretion within a time frame to be fixed by the court. In its appeal, the state argued that the governor's inaction undermines the fundamental basis of the federal structure of governance mandated under the constitution and hampers democratically elected state governments in carrying out their legislative and administrative functions. The governments of Punjab and Tamil Nadu have raised similar allegations against their respective governors seeking resolution through the Supreme Court postponed the hearing on the Tamil Nadu government's petition which claims a delay by Governor R. N. Ravi in approving bills passed by the State Assembly until December 1. The court acknowledged that the Tamil Nadu Assembly has once again approved 10 bills that were previously sent back by the Governor. Let us await the decision of the Governor on re-adopted bills, a bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, Justice J.B. Pardiwala and Justice Manoj Mishra said after Attorney General A.G. R. Venkat Ramani appearing for the office of the Governor sought deferment of the hearing. Acknowledging the delay in the approval of bills, the bench raised the question of whether there was a lapse in fulfilling the constitutional duties assigned to the governor's office. In the meantime, the Punjab cabinet approved the convening of a two-day assembly session on November 28 and 29. This decision follows the governor's propagation of the budget session. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.